Hey guys, if you're installing roof-mounted solar panels in the United States, you have to comply with National Electric Code Article 690.12 Rapid Shutdown. You have few options to make it work. First is to install grid-type microinverters, and other option is to install DC optimizers. Right here I have uh, DC optimizers from Taiga. This is going to comply with Rapid Shutdown. And in this video I'm going to do test setup with the three solar panels. We'll commission Taiga system, connect three optimizers to solar panels and see how well it works together. If you're interested, let's jump into the video. Here are the solar panels that I did use for my project about four or five years back. This is Boviet brand, 260 watts each panel. Now I'm going to build ground mount array for them and uh, install them together. and the test setup is finished. I have access to all wires right here. Now I have to wait sun and uh, we'll start tests. CCA and the tap must be hardwired. I'm using 18.3 security shielded wire. And for power supply, I'm just using standard cord with a plug to connect to 120 volts outlet. Next step before commissioning system, we need to attach optimizers for the panels. One rule is here, first we need to attach input uh, for optimizers, and then we can use output for loads. To commission Taiga system, I'm going to use a smartphone application and um, uh, it's pretty quick process. First step, we have to add the new system and then add the new equipment to the system. So I'm adding CCA, giving name where it's going to be located and then pressing the scan button, which is going to read the barcode from um, uh, Cloud Connect and uh, paste this information into application. Then I have one tap. And then I'm adding the uh, inverter and PV modules. So from PV modules drop down, I'm uh, adding a brand of uh, solar panels that I have. I have one string and three panels. When I press add here, it's going to force me to add the uh, inverter. So I'm just going to select a uh, solar 12K version. Now when I press add, I can go back and um, go to configure layout. And uh, on uh, this kind of map, I have to add um, uh, all my three optimizers or PV modules, then add CCA. And now we can go and scan uh, barcodes or QR codes from uh, optimizers and uh, add uh, these serial numbers into the system. When this step is finished, uh, we have to go to back to system configuration, press discovery. And uh, this step is going to link uh, all items on the map that we added, serial numbers and physical equipment together. And uh, now our commissioning is finished and uh, here's a final view of uh, our system in application. And uh, here's the test setup. I have 48 volts battery right there. Then I have simple MPPT charge controller and this power meter, power meter connected to solar panels and it's going to show us information such as volts we're getting from solar panels, amps and wattage. Then I'm going to perform six tests. First we'll start when optimizers connected to the panels and uh, basically it's happening right now. We have Taiga system full operational. So when all panels is going to be unshaded, I will collect data how much watts we're getting from three panels. Then I will shade one panel, wait for two minutes and uh, collect the data 
shade another panel and collect this data. Then I will disconnect all optimizers and perform same tests without optimizers. You did see results, right? I'm speechless. When I did start recording this video, I thought it's going to be really nice to show if you do have solar array and one of the panels is shaded. And if you install optimizers, you will get rapid shutdown and you get optimization. So entire array is not going to be affected with one shaded panel. What is interesting, I did record exactly the same tests yesterday. What I did differently yesterday, I did record this part first without optimizers and then I connected optimizers and record this part. And I've got similar results and I told uh, something is wrong, maybe they didn't have time, uh, optimizers didn't have enough time to optimize or whatever. So what I did, I removed system from Taiga portal, shuffled optimizers under the panels, installed under different panel and recommissioned entire system. Then this morning it was sitting six hours working before doing any tests. And uh, then we've got these results. I'm really curious if you do have experience with opti optimizers, how it works for you. And uh, that's all about this video. Thank you for watching and see you later.